Good morning. Okay, I am so excited about today um, because it's Friday. Hooray, who isn't excited about that? But I'm also excited because I have two projects to share with you today. Woohoo! Two projects. Okay, so I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a little stepped up type of tutorial. So we're going to make one card with simple stamping and simple stamping is just ink, paper, and a stamp set. That's it. Um, and then I thought it'd be fun to do like a stepped up version of that. So that's what we're doing. We're making two cards, um, you know, fanciness. Um, let me, hey Ellie, can you grab me the laptop thing? Um, I want Ellie to bring me the laptop so that I can see the comments because I can't see your guys' comments um, when I have the phone on the little um, stand and whatnot. So, okay. So let me clean this off. Okay, so for simple stamping, like I said, um, just paper. So I have here two different types of paper. You could just use one, just pack of whisk, regular whisk white, right? but um, I like to use, um, this is the thick Whisper White cardstock, and I like to use that when I'm um, making like my card base um, because it just has a little more weight and I feel like it gives that um, quality and that weight to the card um, when we do that. Okay, and then this is just regular Whisper White. You could totally just use regular Whisper White through the whole thing though. Okay, so um, simple stamping paper, ink so i have three colors i have mango melody melon mambo and pacific point um and then i have stamp set um we're just using ridiculously awesome today um i i think this is just so cute such a cute little stamp set i actually am going to use this for my kids um we're homeschooling this year so we're going to be using this as our um I'm mean, gonna do like a whole first day of school kind of goody setup thing. Um, I haven't really planned the details on it, but it's gonna be fun. Um, okay, so let me just take a quick second to um, set myself up on the laptop so that I can see your guys' comments um, because I want to be able to see what you're saying. Okay, new, I want a new window. Facebook. Sorry guys, I should probably get this all set up before I jump in, but you know. I don't, I'm not that um I'm not that ready. I'm not that prepared. Okay, let me um share to a group. Um, sharing this really quick to my um, VIP group. I don't know if you guys know this, but I do. I, I have a VIP group on Facebook for all of my customers who um, place an order of $50 um, become part of my VIP group. So if you place an order for $50 retail, you can have access to my VIP group and I do give extra um, tutorials, giveaways, fun stuff like that. Um, okay, and then, let me go here. Oh wait, you know what? Hold on, one quick second. Allergen, okay. Share, start a watch party. Like you guys, I'm figuring out how to do it. Weekly, Friday, not Friday, Friday tutorial. Okay, one quick second, and then um, ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, ready to go. Okay, simple stamping. So we're gonna start with um, this Whisper White Thick Cardstock Base, and I've already cut it in half and scored it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it, and this will serve as our um, you know, card, our base. 
Okay, and then that now I have um, just regular whisper white. This is cut at five and a quarter by four. And so I'm gonna create a background on this and I'm gonna create that background in Pacific Point and Mellow Mambo. So I'm gonna go ahead and open both of these. I feel like I'm so everywhere. Okay, let me move this. All right. Uh, okay, and then I'm using the heart and the star, and we're also gonna use the You Are My Sunshine sentiment, um, but let's just start with the heart. I'm gonna stamp, be stamping the heart in this Melon Mambo. So I'm just gonna ink it up and I'm gonna stamp. I'm just gonna stamp it randomly. I'm not trying to create any kind of pattern or order or anything. I'm just stamping away. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the star. I'm gonna ink that up in the Pacific Point, which is that really pretty blue. I was obsessed with Pacific Point for a while. I used it on everything. Um, I'm gonna go back with a heart. And I'm just kind of filling in some of this um, space. Um, like that. Okay, to that, that's that, that's all we're doing there. And then I'm going to move that aside, close both of these up because I'm done with it. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my Mango Melody open that up and I'm going to take my uh, You Are My Sunshine sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and ink it up and then I'm going to stamp it right, kind of centered up right in here. Okay, like that. There's that. Perfect, perfect. And then I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm just going to go ahead and put this together. So as you can see, simple stamping is exactly what it sounds like. Just super simple, really quick. And I'm just going to adhere these on here. Center this up on the whisper white like this. And I am going to take some dimensionals. Maybe. Maybe. Let me grab some. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take some dimensionals and I'm gonna put this um, sentiment, I'm gonna put it on here with some dimensions so that it kind of pops up. All right. Can someone let the doggy in, please? Thank you. My dog's outside crying to come inside. I shouldn't complain. At least somebody let him out. Sometimes people don't even let him out. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and line this up right here now, maybe a little bit higher. Let's go right there. Right there. That's it. Ta-da! Okay, there's my simple stamping card. Really simple, really cute. I love this little You Are My Sunshine sentiment. Okay, so now I'm going to show you kind of a stepped up version. So we're going to introduce a couple more um, products to really kind of elevate this. So what I have here is my um, colored pencils. And I have my colored pencils just a shade lighter than the three colors that I use. So I'm going to use all the same stuff, just a couple more items, which is going to consist of colored pencils. So shade lighter from Mango Melody would be the Daffodil Delight. Um, I have the Flirty Flamingo, which is just lighter than this pink. And I have Bermuda Bay, just a shade lighter than that. Um, and then I'm also going to use these Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. So I'm just putting in two more items um, to kind of step this card up. So let me grab my paper and whatnot. Oh, maybe. Hold on. I have so much stuff over here. I can't grab it. Okay. All right. So I have the same 
same thing, same thing that I used on the this uh, simple stamping card over here. So we have the um, thick whisper white and then we have the regular whisper white cut at the same dimension, same everything. So I'm gonna fold this so that we get our card base going, just like that. I do like to do both sides, you don't have to, but I do. Okay, so we're doing that. And then I have my whisper white I'm gonna take my Melon Mambo and I'm gonna take my Pacific Point. I'll open both of these up. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on the last card and I'm just gonna take this heart, ink it up, and then just stamp it randomly throughout the page. And I'm trying to put them close, um, but I don't wanna put them too close or on top of each other. I'm just using the same method that we did just a second ago. I think that's enough. So now I'm taking the Pacific Point with the star and I'm just gonna stamp this up here. Kind of just randomly, no pattern to it. And maybe one down here. Okay, I think that looks good. We close these up. And so I'm just gonna put this, let me move this over here as a reference so that you can see the difference between what we're doing. So this is our simple stamping card and this is um, gonna be the elevated version. So as you can see, I've done the same background, but I'm just gonna bring in my colored pencils and I'm going to just, I'm gonna turn it because I I write with my page almost completely sideways. I, I don't know that everybody has to do that, but I do. And I'm just gonna scribble behind each star because you know that's fun so i'm just going to scribble to check that's just going to give a little bit of dimension to these stars and these color pencils are actually can be used almost like watercolor pencils or actually, I think they are watercolor pencils. I don't ever use them as such, but you can use our aqua painter um, with, it's just a paintbrush with water in it, and then um, this will turn into pretty watercoloring. Okay, so there we go. We've done that to the stars, and then I'm taking the flirty flamingo, and I'm gonna do the same thing on these hearts. I'm just gonna scribble behind them and give them a little bit of dimension and texture. And I am kind of holding my pencil like in a flat because I want these strokes to be really broad and um, kind of light. I don't want them to be um, sharp and, um, I don't know what the word is. I just don't want them to be sharp and harsh. I want it to be like just a really subtle light background. Okay, so I'm doing that here. I'm gonna go through with all of these hearts. This one I did kind of sideways, so I'm going to turn my, pe my pe pencil sideways and kind of try to follow the same structure. Okay. And this, it's kind of hard to go back and forth with the pencil. It, it doesn't want to slide back onto the paper, so I'm just going to do one direction. Okay, so we're just doing that. I'm going to add a little bit more. Just a little bit darker. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be quite such a like blush pink. I do want it to be vibrant, kind of to pull from that melon mambo. Just go through it a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. I think that looks good. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over, and we're gonna put it on the card base, like so. Just send right up here. Okay. So you can already see from our two cards how this is the same yet different. We're just stepping it up a little bit by adding just a little bit extra. Okay. So this is that same four inches by two and a half. So I'm going to take the Mangle Melody and open it up. Grab my little sentiment here. I'm gonna line it up. I love, you guys, I can't say enough about the grid paper. I don't hype it up enough, talk about it enough, but I really do find it so useful for helping me line things up and make sure that I'm staying, um, you know, straight. Okay, so I'm stamping that. 
And then I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight and I'm going to um, do the same thing I did on the card and just kind of scribble in the background. So I'm just gonna scribble back and forth until I have, you know, the kind of the color, the shade, because this does build, the pencils do build. So as you can see, the first time I went over it, it was kind of light, and the more I go over it, the darker it gets. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth until I have just the shade of yellow that I want. So again, I just picked uh, pencils that were just a shade lighter than the ink that I was using. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Take this off. Like so, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna line it up right where it was on the other card. Kind of centered it up a little bit, like that. That looks good. Okay. And then last thing is I'm taking my holiday rhinestones and I'm just gonna take this yellow orangey. I I want to say this is also Mango Melody, but I could be wrong. I didn't look it up to confirm, but it looks like Mango Melody to me. And I'm gonna stick it right here on top of my eye and that's that so there you go that's two cards um simple stamping this is just um hold on let me not point with the stabber thing because that just feels dangerous okay so um simple stamping this is just ink paper just really clean really simple still a very cute card i use the dimensionals to give it a little bit of texture um and then just stepped up a little bit um, I, you could actually even step this up a little bit more. Like I said, you could bring in that aqua painter and create like a watercolor texture in the background. You could um, add some ribbon to it. So you can definitely build. So, um, you know, stamping is great because it um, you, don't, you don't have to be a professional. You can do really simple, cute projects with just paper and ink. Um, and then, you know, as you grow, as your uh, supplies grow, or maybe you just feel fancy one day, I don't know. Um, you know, you can just step it up and add more and do more. So I just wanted to share with you guys that you can take one project um, and then just build off it. Let it keep growing and let it keep inspiring you. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I will probably stay here after I turn off the video and create like a third and fourth and fifth and eventually end up with something crazy. Um, but that's okay. That's what creating and crafting is all about. It's just letting yourself be inspired and letting yourself, um, you know, just grow and play and, and find what, what your style is and what works for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Bonus two card video and I hope you have a great weekend. Um, come back next week. Again, we're here. I'm going to be here Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Next week, I'm going to do a whole Christmas in July theme. I'm really excited. I love Christmas. Christmas is... I want to say my favorite, except I really love Halloween too. So maybe not, maybe it's like a number two favorite. Um, but anyway, Christmas is fun. I have some really fun stuff to share. Um, and it's going to be all week. So we're doing um, some Christmas in July. I also am doing a catalog launch party. So um, if you'd like to be invited to that, we have a new catalog coming August 4th. I'm going to be doing some um, private demonstrations, some giveaways, some um, games, just a lot of fun. It will be virtually on Facebook. I'm sad I can't do um, my usual open house for catalog launches, um, but I'm not going to let that keep me from celebrating and having fun, and I hope you guys join me. So come back next week, and until then, have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.